Hello, I'm Shane Melach and welcome to this SE Nuke X review, or part of the review anyway. Uh, and here I just simply want to walk you through the wizard, the campaign wizard in SE Nuke X, because I think this is uh, probably the best illustration that shows you what SE Nuke X does exactly and, you know, kind of what sets it apart from other similar tools. So you can at any time create a campaign using this wizard and we're just going to pretend I'm going to do this for my, um, as, as a demo, I'm going to do this for my main internet marketing site, I am Impact. Uh, you can type in three different URLs, three different keywords that you want to rank for, and you can choose between one and three profiles, and you can think of this as between one and three persona that will be out there. You know, if you create one profile, it would be, be like one fake name and email address and so on that you'll use to make all of these submissions you can have up to three per campaign i'm going to leave it at one so the walkthrough is a bit quicker let's get to the next step here here you have some common settings oh and by the way what's what's really cool is you can always get these tips here by just hovering over the question mark with very good um, descriptions of what, what this is all about. So here we have tags that you'll want to use. So whenever you do bookmarking or um, any kind of post where, you know, any kind of submission where tags are required, it will take these. Subdomains, that's when you register like free blogs, it will create subdomains uh, using these, this spinnable text here. Titles is the, you know, what, what titles it will use for free blogs and, and profiles it creates. And then you have the general user, user settings. You can ge auto generate settings here. Um, and you can even upload a profile picture that it will use for creating various profiles. Then here you have a very clever solution for category selection because when you're submitting articles and bookmarks and so on, you always have a choice of various categories, right? And what they've done is they've basically saved all of the possible categories. And what you do is you type in um, category keywords here and then auto select. So I'm going to skip ahead, uh, type in some categories and show you how that works. So I've typed in a bunch of um, matching keywords and then I'm going to go on auto select categories and as you can see it went through and just um, selected the closest match everywhere whatever it could find. Very clever solution here. Right then we'll go ahead to the next step. Now here Another thing you can see right here is you can enter your best spinner login details. So if you're the best spinner user, they use their API. So you can use this here and I'm going to show you how to do that. If I have like two sentences as an author bio, I type that in here and then I go spin bio and it automatically spins the text. Now, as you can see, it just replaces all kinds of stuff. So it really garbles the text. Um, so if you want to you know, be sure to have something that that remains readable and logical when you do the submissions. Then, I recommend that you manually spin it, um, or manually use the best spinner to you know kind of clean this up a little bit. Right now, we've got the next step, and here's where the recording window I'm using is actually going to be a bit too small. Let me just expand that just a little bit because this is where you build your backlink diagrams. So it starts out with your money site here in the middle and now you can basically plan out your link building campaign. So you can say, okay, I want to submit articles to article directories. I drag that in here. I want the article directories to link to my money site. Um, then let's say I want to do some social bookmarking also directly to my money site. Um, hold on a second. These are a bit flimsy to connect here. Here we go. So some social bookmarking, um, social network profiles. This will be various Web 2.0 profiles. I want to link those here. And let's say I want to get those bookmarked as well. Drag in another bookmarking module and connect that up. And now what you'll see is, let me see if this works. This still works. Now if I say I want to bookmark the articles, what you'll see is this doesn't always work. So if I try to connect this, it says I can't social bookmark the article directories because doesn't the article directories don't output any URLs. Um, and the same goes for you know quite a few things. So not all connections are possible here. You can't bookmark everything. You can't uh, use the RSS feeds on everything. Um, so that is 
a certain limitation. There is a certain limitation to what you can do. Uh, but let's just give a few more examples, do some forum profiles here. Um, perhaps I can ping the forum profiles. Let's see if that's possible. Use the pinger. Here we go. And uh, some web 2.0 sites, obviously. And let's see if we can link that up here and maybe do a second level. Uh, let's have those bookmarked as well. So you can see you can do this multi-level, this multi-layered um, linking plan, right? You can have Basically, there's you know as much space as you want to use here. You can lay out a huge plan for SE Nuke to then go and implement for you. Uh, let's just do let's do one more here. Uh, see if we can make another interlinked thingy here. Here we go. Okay, so this would be a link building plan that I wanted to go and do. And obviously, as you, so as you can see, we have forum profiles, Web 2.0 sites. The, there's a pinging module, an RSS module. Perhaps I can use this one as well here. Let's see if that works. If we can get this to work here. Nope, it doesn't work. Um, not sure what the RSS module works for. Let's try the social networks. So there is there is this limitation. Doesn't work for everything. Yeah, that works. Okay, good. Um, but you can, as you can see, you can build fairly complex like link pyramids and stuff like that. All right, so you've got that. Uh, once you've got that set up, once you're satisfied with that, you go to the next step. This next step is about creating all the information required and all the content required to build the link diagram I just um, outlined before. So here you can again autofill some content for a profile and you, there are various ways to create an email address to use which is very easy to do, by the way, and it's really highly automatic. You create the email address, very quickly done. And then we can move on to the next step. So here we have um, content for an article directory. And what you can do is you can like scrape together articles from Easy and Articles or somewhere and kind of have them automatically mashed together into, into some kind of a, you know, article that you can then use for these submissions. I don't personally recommend doing that uh, because that you know apart from you shouldn't you shouldn't obviously scrape together different articles and then mix them up um, but also it's going to be just complete garbage so it's definitely better to use a properly spun article that I'm going to throw one in here <clears throat> like this <clears throat> have a properly spun article and you can uh, check out what it will look like uh, you know gives you gives you kind of a an overview of what the article will look like and so you set that up you can set how many links will be appended to the end of the article and you can insert the links at the beginning or insert a tag for the links or insert them at the bottom and I'm just gonna leave it at that and move on to the next step then we have the same kind of deal for the social bookmarking sites you you know, you know have your title your tags your description and then you can move on and then we've got the same deal again. Basically, for every everything you created, every uh, piece of content that's required, you will have a field like this where you enter the content, spinnable content, or you enter your uh, titles and tags and whatnot. And uh, you know, depending on how large the link network is that you lined out, there will be fewer or more of these content fields that you need to fill out. Finally, there are some universal settings. You can integrate SENUKEX with various CAPTCHA beating services, which of course you have to do. I mean, you don't want to be sitting here solving CAPTCHAs. Uh, my personal recommendation is to use Death by CAPTCHA. That's worked really well for me. And you can also set it up to automatically start SENUKE when you launch, you know, when, when you start your computer basically, and to automatically recover it in case it crashes. So that's quite interesting because it has a separate app running that monitors whether SENUKEX is running or not. Whenever it crashes, it automatically restarts it and resumes whatever projects you have. And that's really cool because it means that you can schedule out huge projects. Um, you can set when the the submissions should, should start and how over how much time it should spread them out. And it means that you can you can set up a whole bunch of projects and then just leave the computer running. You can go away for the weekend or whatever. You can install it on a VPS. Uh, and just check in on it occasionally and you know that even if something goes wrong even if it crashes it will automatically recover and just keep working and that's that's really powerful stuff 
You can also set how many threads um, and how many browsers, it, it loads browsers in the background to do submissions, and you can set that to higher or lower values. So of course, if you tell it to load 16 browsers, it'll be much faster, but also it will clog up your internet connection if you're using it through your own connection, right? And I think the initial settings of six browsers and 10 threads are actually quite reasonable. And I found that I can have it running in the background doing submissions and I can still do you know, other stuff uh, without the internet connection slowing down too much. And that is it. With that, we have uh, the project set up and I can export this and it will start running through that project. And so here's just finally a quick look at what this looks like. It made a list of projects that it'll run through and it scheduled, it out, scheduled them out and I really don't have to do anything anymore. It will start creating these accounts, uh, start doing these submissions and so on. All right, so that's an initial look at SENUKE X and more details in the blog post and coming up with future updates. I'm Shane Malach from IamImpact.com. Thank you for watching.